Okay, our sports here, Mike Conlon, uh, fighting March 17th, yeah. man, pro debut. Yeah, pro debut. About what? Three weeks away or something like that. Three weeks away, yeah. How you feeling, brother? I'm feeling good, just cutting a bit of weight now. Uh, you know, I don't have that much to cut, but uh, I cut a bit early, so uh, I have time to enjoy fight week. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm feeling great. I've had great sparring, had a great camp. Fittest I've ever felt, so, you know, come March 17th, someone's getting hurt. You talked about the sparring. We see pictures of uh, you and Emilio, Jesse, all these guys here. T tell us about the sparring here, man, at the Rock Gym. Listen, the sparring is one of the main reasons I, I joined this gym. Uh, the sparring the likes of the world champions we did. Oscar Valdez, Jesse Magdaleno, Emilio Sanchez, and Top Prospect, you know, Oscar Negrete, all these guys. I'm, I'm still a novice professional. I'm getting this table work already. It's it's great, you know, I, I feel it's benefited me an awful lot. You know, I've had to learn really quick because these guys can punch. You know, Spawn Oscar Valle, you just make you know, those guys can punch. So you got you gotta be smart and you gotta think on your feet all the time. So you know, I, I feel it's benefited me and I, I, I'll take great confidence coming for coming uh, from, from it coming for uh, March 17th. Talk about that, you're you're fighting uh, at Madison Square Garden, the, the mecca of boxing, you're fighting on uh, St. Paddy's Day in New York. I mean, like, talk about that. That just being your, your pro debut, man. I mean, you're barely starting, yeah. literally. <laughs> I know. It's my pro debut, and uh, I'm, I'm the main event, really. Uh, it's an honor. I want to thank Top Rank and, and my team for making it possible. Uh, but, you know, it's great. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm not worried. I'm, it's not, it's not the, the occasion isn't the type of thing that gets to me, it's the type of thing I thrive on. Uh, I really can't wait to be in there and just show what I've learned and show how much I've improved since, since the Olympic Games and uh, how much much more of an all-round fighter I am now. Uh, talk about, obviously, the amateurs have changed more recently as far as um, not having the headgear and things like that. Um, so you, you've, you've done both. You've, yeah. you've fought as amateur with the headgear and then without, so the yeah. different scoring systems, all that. But you know, now you're in the pros, obviously the smaller gloves. What, what do you feel like the biggest difference in a, in a pro fight compared to amateur will be? The pace is a lot slower. Mm. You know, it's slower in the yeah, pros? Yeah, it's a lot slower in the pros. Oh. You know, in the amateurs, it's a sprint. Uh, oh. In the pros, because it's only three rounds. In the pros, there's more time, there's more thinking, uh, there's more power shots being thrown. Uh, you know, I feel that it, it, it suits me. You know, I like I like a nice pace. I like to control my own pace. And you know, even a fast pace in the professional game is still a slow pace in the amateur game. So I'm still only adjusting. So it doesn't matter what kind of pace my opponent comes with. It's going to suit me down to the ground. And uh, yeah, obviously the gloves are smaller, but I boxed in WSB, which is smaller gloves. Maybe not as small, still a bit padded, but uh, you know, it's still in, in this game. Everybody's punching the hurt you. In the amateur team, they're punching the score points. So that's the difference. Uh, that's the big difference, I feel. But at the same time, I'm going to be punching the hurt people now. So uh, I'm, I'm just looking forward to it. I'm, I'm really excited. This is going to be the last hard bit, the, the weight the weight, the weight cutting bit. Uh, and it's, it's probably the hardest part of boxing for everybody. And you know, I'll start to feel it in the next day or two. So it is what it is. Mm. You uh, you obviously famously flipped off the judges in, in Rio, and then um, you know had the, had the rant afterwards, and then with Bob Arum, you guys took that picture flipping off the camera. Yeah, I, I feel like that's gonna obviously become kind of your trademark. I feel like your fans will kind of salute you like that, and, and yeah. it'll be a good thing. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I've been thinking the last few days after my fight, should I just put it in the crowd? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think they will just go crazy for it. Yeah, I think they like it. But, uh, <laughs> we'll see. Come to town, see if it's see if it's right because you know, it's all well and good and the fans love it and everybody loves it but for endorsements and sponsors that shit doesn't work. <laughs> no it doesn't it, do, it doesn't go well especially when there's young kids involved right. uh, so you gotta be smart you know and, and you know I've, I've got that part screwed on in my head 
Uh, I know the business side of this game is as important as the fighting side. You know, you just gotta, just gotta make the most, most money you can uh, while you can, while, while you're fresh, and get out fresh. One of uh, one of your close friends, Conor McGregor. Uh, obviously, yeah. he's very good at, at yeah. the business side of it. Yeah. Is, is that kind of something you've talked to him about? As far yeah, as yeah, obviously. Uh, you know, he, he's he's gave me tips uh, on how to do things and how to handle situations. Uh, my uh, coach of the year here, Edgar. <laughs> the real coach of the year. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he, he he's the best in the business at the game at the minute. Uh, at the big game, whether it's boxing or MMA, he's the best uh, talker, the best seller. He's the, he's the, the main fighter in combat sports. So you know he has just give me some uh, some tips, and uh, you know, I'll take them on board. And and obviously you know got to be smart, and that's that's the main thing. Talk about he's gonna walk you in yeah. on your pro debut. Talk about that kind of honor, just having having yeah, him. Yeah, uh, this is a complete honor. As I said, he's he's the biggest name in combat sports, the biggest person, probably one of the biggest celebrities in the world at the minute. Even out, out of sport, uh, everybody wants to be Conor McGregor. Everybody wants to be a part of Conor McGregor, and I'm I'm really honored to have him walking out with me. Uh, he's, he's became a national hero in Ireland, and you know. To have have a guy like him carrying like, the tricolor for me on my professional debut, it's stuff kids will dream of in the future, and, and you know, kids probably dream of right now. Uh, and for me, it's happening, so I'm I'm honoured and it's a pleasure to, to have him there and be a part of my journey. He uh, obviously in talks with Mayweather. Well, some people Dana says they're not talking. Mayweather says they're close. What uh, what do you know about that situation, and and what do you think about that fight if it were to happen? So, all I know is Connor's confidence is going to happen. Connor's confidence of victory. So, uh, can't doubt a man who, who, who believes in himself 100%. And that's, that's the feeling you get from Connor. He believes in himself 1000%. So, Floyd Mayweather is the greatest boxer ever. You know, it's as simple as I, the greatest boxer ever. So, it would be an, an almost impossible task. But at the same time, you can never doubt someone who believes in himself. 100% because anything can happen in the fight game. It doesn't matter if you're the best fighter or the worst fighter. You always have a chance. Good. Have you thought about uh, what you're coming out to, man? What song you're coming out yeah, to? I can't tell you. I can't say. Oh, you have it, but you... Uh, you oh, okay. These won't understand. These won't know it. It'll be iconic. These will look at it and just see it and go, wow. But for Irish people, they'll be like, wow. Really? Yeah. That's awesome, man. Well, I can't wait to uh, can't wait to see it. Can't wait to watch you perform, brother. Appreciate the time. Appreciate we it. see you putting the putting in the work, and uh, yeah. and it should Tough pay off. Sure. Just trying to get that, the hands moving, get the speed going for to cut some weight, and putting on sweet sweat and everything. Yeah. Sweat. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we see you with the blankets over here. Blankets over here, hating on their towels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I was I was over here. I just saw a pile of towels, and then Beto Duran comes over, and I'm oh shit, there's a person under there. <laughs> Hey, thank you, Mike. I appreciate your time, brother. Best of luck. Thank you.